The creative program to prepare students for the placement exam in his department. Record shows 70% of the students need to study on math, 65% need to study on English, and 45% need in both subject, math and English. What is the probability of student at randoms needs to study both math or English? So while well, seems like the question is asking math or English, so we we are not we are not sure this is the question actually. M for math or E for English. This is what we are looking for. This is what phi stands for probability. What we know, what we know in this case is we know 70% math. So uh, let's drop it down here. So probability of math is equal to 70%. Probability of English, E for English, is equal to, let's take a look here, 65% need to know, learn English. So 0.65 or 0.65. Now they said one more, info. they give us one more information here, 45% in both. So what do we know about that? We know probability of math and English is 45%. Okay, so we can actually do it if we know the addition rule for two independent events or addition rule for two dependent events. All question is, is this independent or is this a dependent? That's a big, big, big technique or you, we have to learn actually, big thing, uh, big catch. If it is independent, we just use the probability, you just add them, probability of M plus probability of E, English or math. But is there anything is common? Okay, let's actually draw a Venn diagram. So make us, uh, you know, more feel about it actually. So let's have a Venn diagram. Okay, so I have a Venn diagram, as you see. So I'm gonna put down this is a math, which is in this case is 70%. 70% and this one I'm going to level is to the right side I'm going to level this one as a English so English is what 65% clearly right in the middle this is a touching okay this is called band diagram a simultaneously is happening this is not a disjoint actually this is joint mutually not exclusive so as you see, this is a dependent. One is touching another. They are not disjoined, they are joined. So therefore, is going to be an dependent event. So what do you know about the dependent event? So we have the formula. By the way, this is going to be probability of M and E. That's in the mi middle, actually. Okay, that's in the middle. So probability of probability of math or probability of English is equal to probability of math plus probability of English then we add the probability of math we add the probability of English then we subtract this little face question doesn't ask us actually this face here so we have to subtract that actually. Math or English. Few math or English. But we are not looking for two things happening at the same time. So we have to subtract that little bit information here. So minus probability of math and English. So once we have that, we can just plug it in here. How do we plug? We have everything actually. So probability of math probability of English and probability of both events as you see. So we just substitute it 0 0.70 plus 0 0.65 minus 0 0.45 and I did it ahead of time and it gives me 0 0.9 zero in other word 90 percent so is equal to 90 percent is possible 90 percent what is the probability is to select a random 
math or English is 90%. So that's how actually you would answer this kind of question. If it is dependent, two events are dependent, we use this technique to solve problem. Thank you.